So here we have Bitcoin, $39,600. It wouldn't surprise me if we get a $40,000 Bitcoin sometimes in the next, in the next couple of minutes, in the next couple of hours, or sometimes in this upcoming week. Uh, it absolutely won't surprise me. We are only about less than $400 away to $40,000. And I think this is coming very soon. We've been talking about $40,000 for the longest time. Uh, we've been bullish on Bitcoin since early 2023. In fact, we've been bullish on Bitcoin since Bitcoin was around $18,000. If you go back and you look at my 2023 price prediction, uh, this was the first day of January. Uh, when Bitcoin was trading at sixteen thousand dollars, I predicted that by this time in twenty twenty three, the price of Bitcoin was going to be around thirty seven thousand dollars. So I predicted a thirty seven thousand dollar Bitcoin in twenty twenty three, and not only did we get a thirty seven thousand dollar Bitcoin, you know here we are at forty thousand dollars. All right, here we are. Of forty thousand dollars, so you know that's a reason to subscribe to the channel. That is a reason to smash that like button, and that is a reason to continue to follow this awesome channel. Uh, but in the short term, you know, forty thousand is definitely going to happen at any given time. If we break above the resistance. If we break above this resistance right here, you know, I think Bitcoin goes to $42,000. $42,000 is my next target. If we break above $40,000, and if we break $42,000, we're looking at Bitcoin potentially going to $45,000 and $48,000. But there's going to be a lot of people taking profits right now. There is going to be a lot of investors taking profits in this $39,000 and $42,000 range. There's going to be a lot of profit taking. Reason why, I'll show you guys exactly. If you look at the performance of Bitcoin for the last 40 days, every time Bitcoin comes to retest the trend, we get a nice move to the upside. And every time Bitcoin comes to retest the resistance, we get a nice pullback down to retest the support trend line. And every time we rally to retest the resistance trend line, we get rejected and we continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. So I am going to speculate that you are going to see a lot of people taking profits right here at $39,000. You're going to see more profit taking at $40,000. You are going to see more profit taking at $41,000. And you are going to see even more profit taking at $42,000. That's because we have a major resistance in this $39,000 to $42,000 range. Now, if Bitcoin breaks above $42,000, you are going to see a lot of more long. You are going to see a lot of more people go long. And that's because if we break $42,000, if we break $42,000, there's a chance, all right? There's a probability. We get a $45,000 Bitcoin and a $48,000 Bitcoin. But first, we, we need to break above $42,000. So right now, I mean, this is very exciting. This is you know, definitely very exciting. But in the short term, you do have a lot of people taking profits. And, and you should be taking profits if you have some short-term position. You know, if you got in, let's say you got in at 33000 this is a good place to take profits. If you got in at $35,000, this is a great place to take profits. 
if you got in at you know thirty five thirty four thousand uh, dollars this is a great place to take profits so that is Bitcoin there's really nothing else to add on to that that is Bitcoin in the short term uh, forty two thousand is really the big target if we break forty two thousand dollars you have forty five and forty eight thousand dollars there's really nothing else to add you know to add to that that is really Bitcoin and and your next targets if we get rejected right here uh, then you're looking at Bitcoin potentially coming all the way down to thirty seven thousand dollars so back here to retest the support uh, locally you are going to have this place right here you're going to have thirty eight thousand and five hundred dollars act as a local uh, as a local support so if we do get a, if we do get rejected right here locally you are going to have thirty eight thousand and five hundred dollars as your first support if we break thirty eight thousand and five hundred dollars we're coming down to thirty seven thousand dollars so again that is really Bitcoin in the short term. There's really no, I don't think there's anything else to add to it. Uh, if we zoom out and you look at the weekly, you know, Bitcoin looks very bullish. Uh, you should be very bullish right now. There is no reason, uh, absolutely no reason to continue to speculate that you know, Bitcoin is going down to uh, to fifteen thousand dollars. There is zero reasons, zero reason, guys. The fifteen thousand is it's not going to happen. Uh, we we'll get about fifteen thousand right now. You know, you should be looking at these big targets right here: forty a, uh, fifty a, and sixty nine thousand. Uh, so if you zoom out and you look at the higher time frame, uh, Bitcoin looks extremely bullish. This is the weekly right here. If you look at the monthly, even more bullish. So this is the reason why I'm very excited about you know the next 12 to 24 months. Next 12, 24 months are going to be super, super bullish. Uh, Bitcoin is going to go up more than it is going to go down uh it's going to go up you know more and longer uh bitcoin is going to be going up for a long period of time and pullbacks are only going to be short and temporarily so if you look at the bear market bitcoin went down for a long time and uh if you look at the bounce there were short and temporarily right so the bounce were were very quick you get a bounce but it happens very quick and you resume the trend so this was a downtrend so we resume the downtrend so in a bull market you have the opposite of that price goes up longer and pullbacks are very quick so you want to take advantage of pullbacks because they you know they're not going to last for long if you do get a long pullback you know it's no more than two months so for instance you know if you look at this pullback right here this was only was only one month there was another one right here another month right there that was the last bull market if you go to 2017 let me show you the pullbacks in 2017 in 2017 we had one month of a pullback right here Another month of a pullback right here. Here we had two months of a pullback. So maximum, you know, in terms of length, maximum of a pullback is no more than two months. You know, one month should be good enough. So here one month, another month right here, another one right here. Uh, as you can see, the price was up for a very long period of time. And if you look at the last bull market, it is exactly the same thing price was up for a very long period of time so if you look at right now from right here from sixteen thousand dollars 
we had a pullback right here. One month. We had two months right here. Uh, and here we are. Bitcoin has resumed the trend. So if we do get another pullback, it's going to be another one month or maybe two months of a pullback. And then we go up again 